Hello, I'm Miriam and I'm from Portugal and I am a patient with sickle cell disease. Uh, I'll stick to my notes to make it shorter. My part in research, adopting an already proven medication as a treatment to sickle cell patients, a phone interview about what life with sickle cell is like, and registering to provide feedback as a patient to clinical reference groups. This is a new one, I'm going to start working on it. Why take part in research? When I was preparing for this video, I found a quotation from the UK National Institute for Health Research, which I find useful. You already conduct research in your day-to-day -day life. This research informs and broadens your understanding of things before you make a decision. Health and care research is the same. It seeks to find answers to questions about the best options available. It then uses these discoveries to make decisions about improvements or changes. So why do I think it's important to take part in research as a patient? To learn more about sickle cell, to help health professionals better understand patients' daily life, our needs and concerns to better address them for new or different research avenues, to access new treatments, to be part of the process which leads to new medicine, treatment or procedure for sickle cell, as well as physical and physiological therapies and methods of diagnosing disease, to take an active role in our own care, to make a difference by helping to improve treatments and quality of life now and for future generations. Positives and negatives about joining a research program. The positives, all of the above that I already mentioned as why you should take part in research. Concerns more than negatives. Personal and public exposure, you're going out there and providing details on, on you. Mentally challenging, as you usually go through all kinds of emotions and a lot of anxiety. Physical discomfort, it means more visits to the hospital, more follow-up exams, appointments, and so on. And more specifically, placebo. So similar to cancer patients, it is important that trials for sickle cell patients do not involve a placebo. While patients could possibly benefit from something that reduces pain, crisis, or symptoms, isn't it a little bit potentially unethical? as it may affect their daily life and quality of life, and also potential collateral effects. You can't know it while you are doing this, the trial, while you are in the trial, but once it is over, if it is adopted, then you should really know what those are to be aware of any changes. Would I recommend it to other patients? Absolutely. The benefits are significant and it vastly surpass any discomforts and concerns. What do I want to tell people who are designing research studies? Well, basically two things. Availability of research to patients in different countries is not identical, and publicly available information about ongoing research and how to participate is very scarce or not existent in smaller countries like Portugal. It is also fundamental to consider and focus on more holistic approaches, non-chemical and non-invasive, when considering research. So, yes, please go on and do your part in research as a patient. Thank you.